Hi, this is Joe Gasparino, the owner of Odie Safety, and I wanted to go over a new product launch, what we call the UFIT Lathe Guard System. Um, it's a universal flip up and sliding chuck guard, so with two different part numbers, you can cover a wide variety of horizontal lathes. Um, also, you fit for you can adjust it and fit to your application. An overview of what we'll be covering is the industry problems, the root causes we've seen. We did a study on chuck sizes and jaw configurations, uh, the different current state styles of mounting. Uh, we also did a center of gravity and, and ergonomic reach study also studied the uh, chuck widths to determine how wide it should be per OSHA spec. Uh, go over both of our U-fit uh, flip-up chuck guard and our U-fit sliding chuck guard. Uh, we have a, a few animation videos and then just get into a summary of the U-fit design benefits. Some of the problems we see uh, with our combined machine shop experience, Odie's has been doing about eight years of OSHA, ANSI, ISO uh, machine guarding risk assessments. We've designed our own guards. We've installed uh, many of the guards that are on the market and we've seen uh, common problems, a uh, large group of machines when doing assessments we can see that there were guards on the machine at one time and removed uh, we've also seen issues or had customers reach out where guards were damaged uh, from the chuck grabbing it and destroying it and then a lot of our assessments you know for over under and through we see a lot of oversized guards that are just frankly inadequate and non-compliant and we kept asking ourselves why do we keep seeing these common themes on horizontal lathes so to dig in some of the root causes we we see um, one on damaged or missing chuck guards uh, we see a lot of chucks or machines that have multiple chuck sizes and a lot of them have uh expandable aspects to them that aren't determined when sizing the guard so what happens is either a they are trying to machine a part that's that's larger than the guard and the operators will remove the guard which is probably the ideal uh, situation for them operationally um, so they don't damage the guard, but then what happens is it doesn't get put back on. And then the other aspect is they switch the chuck out, extend the jaws, don't notice the guard's too small, and end up turning it on and, and shredding the guard to pieces. Uh, we also see issues in how to mount the guard. It could be a back mount, flush mount, or top mount. And that angle on where you can mount that crossbar ends up creating ergonomic and center of gravity issues with the guard. And we have a lot of complaints where folks will lift the guard up and it may come back down and hit the operator in the head or come back and hit him in the arm. And that's due from the design of the guard not matching the operation and, and causing center of gravity issues. So when that happens, we end up seeing or getting a lot of requests, the next logical step, because this is the only thing on the market, is they'll go for the sliding guard in the front or um, a really oversized chuck guard. So, you know, this adds probably 5x the cost and you know they're now you have concerns of you know is it getting in the way um you know you can still reach around it um you know so a lot of 
engineering oversized guards expenses to mitigate something that should have a much easier solution we see a lot of oversized guards and that is really based on how you can mount the guard uh, we have some out in an in industry that could have you know six to eight different mounting methodologies but the farther you get away from the center of chuck the larger the guard has to be and when you do not mount the guard per perfectly in line with the chuck it tends to have a forward center of gravity and when that happens if you flip the the guard back it has a more likelihood to bounce forward um, and the higher that goes the worse it gets which causes the you know the guard being an issue and come coming back and striking the operator so part of our process was you know what is the ideal uh, flip up chuck guard uh, we did a you know various uh, study on what are the average chuck heights what's the average human what's the average arm length um, to get to and putting it in all the configurations and that set the tone for our design which we ended up coming up with no flip up guard should be greater than 25 inches so any any lathe that um, you know 10 inches to um, we'll say you know 20 inch chucks uh, can fit in this bandwidth for flip up another study the Odys team did is what are the stock standard sizes um, for width so for uh, horizontal lathe chuck guard compliance per OSHA uh, we looked at different chuck sizes from you know 10 12 16 20 24 28 32 40 and even 50 inch uh, horizontal uh, chucks and that gave us a bandwidth of how or what are the options on on the width of the guards and and what would be ideal to cover uh, most of what's out there machine wise so what the Odys team developed uh, the first product is what we're calling the u-fit flip-up guard uh, can't the guard should not be greater than 25 inches wide it's uh, designed to not exceed that um, the width options are six seven eight ten inches uh, for you know maximum width chuck it can be back mounted top mounted flush mounted and completely adjustable to your operation so regarding guards that are greater than 25 inches there just isn't a true ergonomic um, way to do a flip up so then you transition straight into a sliding lathe uh, which we have a Odie's universal u-fit sliding chuck guard that the bases can be adjusted and the guard length and hang and overhang in front uh, can be adjusted as well so that gives you one part number that can cover any anomalies in your operation for the uh, larger 25 inch to 50 inch horizontal lathes so here we have a video of the u-fit uh, flip up anti-kickback mechanism that we developed it uh it allows um all ergonomic positioning based on guard size as a ratcheting mechanism that will lock it into place at different angles and um, it's only until it's pushed back all the way will it release and then you can actually um, put it back down in the safe position here we have a animation video on the flip up and, and guard adjustments first one being a back mounted guard um, so box would be there 
you would mount the guard to it. Um, you can then set your guard uh, width over the chuck. And then there's also adjustments in the front. If you want to, based on you know smaller lathe sizes, you can get up pretty tight to it and fit your application. We've also built into the same mechanism that this unit can be top mounted. Um, so some of the larger machines, you probably don't want to back mount, um, you know, so closer towards 18 to 20 inch chucks, you may want to top mount. Um, this guard gives you full flexibility. Uh, you just remove a piece. Uh, we add another piece, all these kits. Um, this all comes as a kit that you can adjust for your shop, your machine. You can set your width over the height on the bar. Uh, make your remover add in pieces. So there you're setting the width. And now you have a top mount flip flip up guard that's fit to your machine, um, all from one kit. So here's a brief video on our U-Fit sliding guard adjustments. Um, the feet can adjust up and down for height. Uh, we have the width as well. It can come interlocked or non-interlocked, but um, so based on the, the top of your larger machine, you can fit that footprint to it, add or remove pieces, um, get more coverage in the front. And again, all of this will be, will come as a kit so you can fit it to your machine, your application, no, no matter how wide, small, um, how big. So instead of uh, sourcing a, a guard that may not fit the machine, we now have uh, full adjustability to set it up so it's perfect for your machine. Your operators won't have concerns with it and you know, eliminate a lot of implementation headaches for, for safety personnel. So here just to conclude uh, the ODS U fit, flip up and slider you know we determined that no flip up guard should be greater than 25 inches so that may be you know a chuck size no bigger than 20 inches but it certainly depends on how far your um, jaws go out uh, we have a universal mounting it's the same mounting box unlike some of our competitors where you may have six or eight mounting solutions our same box can mount on the back of the machine, the face of the machine, or the top of the machine. And it comes with a interlock option. So nothing needs to be changed out. You can actually um, add the switch later on and it won't cost uh, massive efforts in reinstalling. We wanted to make sure that there was adjustments for the back, the top for the width and the front so that you can fit that guard perfectly around the machine. Um, one thing this is inherent in is the sustaining the center of gravity of the guard. So all of our guards are, uh, can be adjusted, you know, so they're perpendicular to the machine. Um, it has the ratcheting system that is, uh, doesn't have to be fully extended. So you can have that anti kickback feature from, falling back on the operator and again you can add the optional interlock either at the start or even later on um, whereas some of our competitors you have to buy a whole new bracketry and the bracketry actually is larger than the original so it throws the guard off and sometimes it makes the guard unusable so it reduces uh, that upgrade headache of and costs. Um, it, it comes as a complete kit and it'll cover all those sizes, have those pieces. 
So you can take out pieces, add, remove, adjust, exact to your machine operation and how it was put in. Um, again, the U-Fit um, kit, the flip-up aspect, you can probably get, you know, good 10 to 25 inches of the guard. So you want to make sure the, you know, the chuck would probably be um, smaller than that, but that's the ideal uh, range of the guard 12 to 25 inches and then the universal slider it uh anything for over 25 inches we will be having you know just the stock sizes under the u-fit but we do have the custom option on our website that you can um, request and we can make variations of this guard wider smaller bigger more windows, etc., but that will fall under our uh, custom fields. So when you lump all of this presentation together, the studies we've done, uh, what this is going to do for the EHS safety team and any machine guarding initiatives is it completely eliminates the confusion of sourcing guards. Uh, make you know a lot of competitors or guards on the market will have various different sizes and by the time you get them in they may not fit your machine so we have seen this and the team here wanted to solve this industry problem and I believe we did that with the UFIT flip up and slider so if you have any questions just go to our website uh, this guard is now patent pending and uh, the, the full aspects so you can contact us at sales at odys.com or go to our website and we can help tailor this solution package and and many others there thank you